Cubs team assemble. Canes. I'm Brett Brewster. And I'm Manny Sato. Welcome to the Hurricane News. Today is Thursday, March 10th, and we are on a day three schedule. Please rise for a pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are officially in the season of Lent, a time of reflection and preparation for Easter. Bishop McLaughlin is offering Lenten prayers in the chapel during break every day, so consider the prayers as a way to focus on this important spiritual season. Bishop actors and actresses will soon perform one of the most popular musicals and movies, The Sound of Music. The musical will be next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in Ed Pack at 7 p.m. on all days. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. See Mr. Provost in room 430 for more information. And now, here's Colin with sports. Welcome to Bishop Sports. Tuesday, uh, Bishop McLaughlin's baseball team beat Santa Fe 10-4. Bishop McLaughlin's uh, softball team also beat CDS 9-4. And the boys' tennis team swept Sefner. Wow, the girls' team did have an unfortunate loss. But please come out today and support the tennis team against Academy of the Lakes. There will be a grill and chill, and Reggie will be there. Now back to Manny and Brett. Thanks, Colin. Another big event, Grad Bash, mm -hmm. is also approaching. Get your money in the permission form to Mrs. T. Han by tomorrow. The cost is $115, and the permission form is in senior packets. The Bishop Yearbook staff strongly suggests that students pre-order their yearbooks, themed Hurricane Warning, because our school prints a limited amount. The cost is $70. The best way for students or parents to order books is online at jostens.com. Also, if you did not make the sibling photo shoot Friday, see Mr. Z in the media center to get your photo taken. Our temperatures will continue to climb, moving over 80 degrees. The high temperature today here in Spring Hill will be 85. The rest of the week will bring similar, similar balmy temperatures. Tomorrow the high will hit 87. Here's today's commentary. One of the big issues today is the presidential primaries. We hear news about them every day. You may be tired of hearing about this or not interested because you can't vote. But if you fall into those groups, you're missing a learning experience because soon you will be able to vote. And more importantly, you will be living with the president for four years. So what can you do? Study the candidates. Do their policies. Not just one policy, but many. Support your own beliefs and your own values. And do they offer, do they offer specifies? Second, don't be afraid to take a position on a candidate that's different from your friends or families. You should always make an independent decision. If someone tells you your vote would be wasted time voting for one candidate, ignore the statement. Think about how you would feel voting for a candidate you don't believe in only because they seem like likely to win. You'd be lying to yourself. And finally, talk to voters and tell them about the candidate you support. Volunteer to make calls or knock on doors for that candidate. Even if your candidate loses, you'll know you did your part to carve out a better future for your school and country. Your effort or vote will always matter. Thanks, Brett. Time moves quickly and the prom is almost a month away. April 16th from 7 to 10 p.m. at Bush Gardens. See Ms. Schuster in room 639 for more details. And that's the news for today, Thursday, March 10th. Please silence yourselves for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. St. Charles Borromeo, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. For our crew, Stephen, Colin, Mr. Z, and I, have a great day.